Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I want to talk to you about the latest Huda Beauty release. No, not that neutral. You know the one that the swatches look more neutrally gold like this or neutrally peach like this. I guess all of these have been done before by Huda with her various palettes that she's come out through the years. So I guess this time you should just say the packaging is based off of dollar store hair clips or in other words some people like to call it the tortoise shell pattern. So to me it's only a tad less tackier than the leopard print palette that Kylie came up with a couple of months ago. And really that's all it is with Huda Beauty, the packaging and then her doing a neutral nude look and, and things will never get that creative. I mean we can't really expect too much from this brand because it's increasingly apparent that it's become a sort of ca quick cash grab. What's also funny is I think that she couldn't agree on what kind of theme she wanted for this. So these palettes are called Caramel Brown, Toffee Brown, and Chocolate Brown. And yet the packaging is a tortoise shell packaging. So if she was going for a, a food themed th uh, packaging, that would have made more sense with the names that she's given it. But then now she wants to do the leopard print, which is fine. I just personally find that to be very repetitive and something that does not inspire me at all. It really reminds me of really janky things with overly blinged and overly gaudy outfits. It just, it's the opposite of inspiring for me. And I just feel like it's such a lazy attempt, but let's see what she has to say as usual. All right guys, so I've been obsessed with tortoise for the longest time. You guys saw me do those dope nails last year. Do you wanna know why? Because of this, this tortoise realness, the dopest tortoise you'll ever see. We are doing a whole tortoise takeover right now. I know they're so beautiful. They look incredible on, but the packaging, I mean, this is like a collector's item. I'm so obsessed. I'm so excited. The bags are amazing. You're going to only be able to get these on our hoodabeauty.com. This is actually going to be amazing because it's going to come with a palette as well as this quad of mini liquid matte. All right, we got our one of our favorite shades, which is Trendsetter. You guys know I love that shade. Three new shades of sexiness. I can't wait for you guys to try it. So all of this is dropping soon. I'm going to give you guys the details. I can't wait for you guys to get this. Tortoise takeover, guys. This is like the dopest thing right now. All right, guys. So you heard the lady's pitch. It really does sound like all of her pitches from before and uh, if the quality is anything like the stuff from before then I know it's going straight to the trash for me or something that will be decluttered pretty fast. Nothing from this collection really appeals to me. The bag looks really tacky. The, the product itself I'm pretty sure it's going to have a lot of fallout. I had a lot of fallout with the khaki obsessions so I'm not doubting that there will be any major color improvement here but I don't want to just bash the product. I'll probably uh, look at some more reviews when it comes out and decide if I want to review it for you but honestly I feel like if you have one of her palettes you probably have all of her palettes and probably all of her future palettes. I mean at this rate she's probably going to re-release all of these probably ne sometime like in a few months and it will just be called uh, a different animal or or something else and uh, she really does love that swirl in there you know that swirly color in there she's I mean for me I find that fit a very a very confusing choice when you're reaching out for a shade you don't, you're not quite sure exactly what shade it is even though you may already know from the past that it's watched in one way or another it just seems like another cash grab but at least she's not doing the slippery shade again so hopefully she learned a lesson and that shade is not coming back but everything else is pretty much repetitive from what we've seen before really there's no innovation here at I'm sad to say unless maybe you just really like to support that brand and then of course there's a problem with the naming of these shades she's lip named one of these lip shades alpha femme which is sort of uh, what people would call alpha is a mis misogynistic term that men use to rate themselves in dominance and femme is um, also a problematic term in this regard so it's it just seems like she's she's doing something that Too Faced would do and it's I wonder if all brands are going to eventually fall down this sad hole where they just have to repeat themselves and just change their packaging every now and then I mean thankfully we haven't seen that quite yet with higher end brands but it seems like her last creative project was just the retrograde and after that she just wanted to be neutral because 
neutral is what sells and uh, it does not want to take the indie route doesn't want to do anything creative and that's fine but um, I'm not going to buy any of her her stuff and uh, we'll just leave it at that I mean especially not something that's over blinged and over janky looking so that's just my thoughts I mean if you guys are interested in, in her palette please comment below and let me know but I personally won't won't be buying any of of this release unfortunately and so yeah let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and i'll leave you with some videos of some new releases and some indie brands that i really enjoy and uh, as always thank you for watching and i will see you next time
Thank you.